Hello friends and astrology lovers! This is the horoscope for the month of April 2019 for all signs in brief and it is also a general overview of important transits. As you see, I publish monthly videos from March this year. In addition to monthly horoscopes, the novelty is also the course of astrology and online video lessons of astrology, which will be edited during the month of April on my web pages symbolicthinking.net. So please follow my website and my YouTube channel to see when will astral lessons be in offer in English. I already have this course in other languages. So let's see now what are the most important transits in April. A new moon will be 5th of April and it will be in Aries. And full moon will be the 19th of April in Libra. As you see, we have the, for the second time this spring, new moon in Libra. This is a very special thing for all Libras and people with planets in this sign. I'll talk more about that later. And other important transits are that Sun is going to be in Aries until the 21st and then it will be in Taurus. Then 1st of April, Pluto conjunct the South Lunar Node. 10th of April, Jupiter is retrograde and will be retrograde until the 12th of August this year. Then Mercury is in its shadow up to 17th of April and after that day we are free completely to do whatever we want with the energy of Mercury. It will not, um, it will not hold us down and stop us from uh, action. It, it is now very active. It will be active Mercurian energy. Then 24th of April Pluto will be retrograde and it will stay retrograde until the 3rd of October. And then 29th of April, Saturn is retrograde. And then 22nd also of April, Saturn conjuncts the South Node. So you see there are three planets that are very active uh, in, uh, in the sky. They conjunct South Node, two of them, and three of them are retrograde. And they're very, very important for us. Those three planets are um, Saturn, Pluto and Jupiter. So what is interesting then in that case about April? From April on, now some big game players are retrograde. I said Jupiter, Pluto and Saturn. And these three planets are absolutely crucial for the uh, changes that we expect in the 2020 that will for sure come. The question is how we will react on them and what we will know about them. Uh, so. Uh, I, speak in, I speak about those changes that are going to occur in 2020 in different videos, as many astrologers do. I spoke perhaps a little bit longer in my video Saturn in Capricorn. So if you want, you can have a look at this video. Uh, all significant events in the 2020 will happen, in, will happen in the sign of Capricorn. And since the Capricorn is the sign of states, politics and world's governing structures, then we can expect that during the year 2020 will happen something as it will be the turning point on the world stage and the beginning of the new world order in a way, whatever that means. So people speak in nowadays very often about hope and that we need as a human certain salvation. We are looking for the salvation for the all human race because the pressure is bigger and bigger and some energy that is strange is growing and growing. So we speak about those things perhaps more than ever. I don't know if maybe people before in the past of humanity also spoke that much about the same topics, perhaps yes. But now this is stressed also because we have Neptune in Pisces. I also have a video about Neptune in Pisces. Have a look at that video if you are interested in those things. Partly I speak about this need for salvation or the desire for the miracle in my other videos about when I speak about Jupiter in Sagittarius. So you may wish to see that video. There are two videos about Jupiter in Sagittarius. But now especially is important Neptune in Pisces. Why? Well, the stronger the pressure of the ruling structure or the ordinary man is, and that is happening through those planets in Capricorn, 
The bigger is the desire of an ordinary man to run away from this pressure and to turn into himself because there is no any other better place where one can hide. So Neptune is crucial here because it can help an ordinary people, ordinary person as we are, to reveal the new dimension of his or her inner being and to expand consciousness. That's very important thing. That's why everybody speaks about that because it's really important. Of course, many do not resist pressure and remain manipulated by the media or false stories that do not support any healthy living philosophy. So we speak about that, that we are slowly entering a new era of enlightened people. Maybe that's true, maybe not. But it can be. Uh, and we describe that as the era of Aquarius. And that is happening already, we know, because Slavic people, Chinese and Indochina people are connected with the sign of Aquarius and they're more and more important. But I would like here that actually the most important thing is in this process, this is self-awareness, because the change should come only from us, actually. Yeah, so it is important that all of us should all of us should awaken his or her own inner light and learn. We all need to learn. This is the this is the time when we learn about ourselves, when we connect with some higher energies that help us to learn about us. Because actually, when we learn about ourselves, we are spiritual. This is that connection, how we make it. And that will be the way how to resist these forces of darkness or forces of manipulation and these things that are, of course, present in our time. So retrograde Jupiter, Pluto and Saturn say that something has been achieved until April. And from now on, until August and September, something needs to be processed. Uh, there is going to be a period in between when things will also happen. So this our process of period of processing something that we'll achieve will be in a way interrupted in the summertime, especially in July, where there are going to be two eclipses. It, in this, in this uh, matter, when, about those things that we are talking about, will be more important a partial lunar eclipse that will happen on 24 degree of Capricorn near the Pluto, near Pluto. Pluto is this um, the most important game changer because it brings those inner transformations. So July eclipse will add oil to fire and suggest that one long period of, develop, of development of the humanity has ended and that we all participate. We do not need to wait for somebody else to do something. We participate in those things. I will record a special video about eclipses in the summer 2019, so I will speak more about that. So in a way, April is preparation for summer, and summer is the biggest preparation for the year 2020, which is no doubt crucial year for us in this, in this part of our human history. So how will this affect individuals? This is what is happening now in, um, in April. As you assume, it affects all of us because we all have, in the horoscope, we have somewhere the sign of Capricorn. But especially affects people who have planets in this sign. Of course, first of all, Capricorn people means those who have Sun in Capricorn and also those who have Moon, Venus, Mercury or Mars in Capricorn. So where you have Capricorn in your horoscope, you, will, you, you have reached a certain level of development uh, until April and from April until September, you need to work patiently on, on, the, on that what you have gained. Try to get rid of everything that is superfluous and concentrate on the more import, most important things in this area of life because this is going to be the area of life where you will, will lay down some foundations for your future 30-year growth. You know, and you will feel it more, most probably from the year 2020. So from April until, until August or September, build structures there. Which are other important transits in April? Let's say more about other transits. So Sun is in Aries until the 21st and then in Taurus. 
So I first of all wish to all of you who celebrate birthdays this month, happy birthday. I wish you to be happy and successful all this year. April is especially important for Aries people because their, their new lunar cycle starts in April from the 5th of April on. And this lunar cycle lasts for six months. And I recommend to everyone who have planets in Aries, first of all, Sun, and maybe to those who have other planets in Aries, to make a small rituals around the 8th or 9th of April and to say to themselves what do they want to achieve during this year and maybe to lay down foundation for a new future project. Now it is the time for to act. Taurus will change, which will wait for this until May. But who is especially lucky in March and in April? Libras. Why Libras? Because they have two new moons this year, one in March and another is in April. And one of those, um, and, and actually both of those full moons are happening while the sun is in Aries. So bingo for Libras. What that means? It means that Libras will have courage, strength and initiative. And they will, that is their time to do things, to manifest things and to finish if it's possible, to be fast in doing things. This actually applies for everybody else who also have planets in Libra. So not only to those who have Sun in Libra, but also it works for those who have Moon, Venus, Mars, Mercury or even Jupiter in Libra. However, the full Moon uh, on the uh, 19th of April brings a conflict that needs to be overcome in order to make things work properly. Since all conflicts are potentially in us, then it is clear what should be done by the 19th of April. So I wish you good luck in that. Symbolically, two full moons for Libras mean that in this year they will have two victories. Uh, Aries people, similarly as Libra people, will, can expect some changes in professional and partnership area in April. Taurus people are slowly finishing one year cycle and starting new one. For some of them, this start is a revolutionary big start, especially from May on, because of the planet of Uranus. So it, it, is, it works for those who have planets on the first degrees of, Ura of Taurus. Uh, in April is still the time for them to rest, to have a rest, to regenerate and um, maybe to, to see what they achieved until now and maybe to, just to prepare. Now is the time just to prepare. Mercury is, is in its full force, as we said, since April 17. And that's especially important for Gemini and Virgo people, which from that day he will have the opportunity to create more eloquent environment, to develop business, to develop their trade, to communicate in a better way, and so on. Cancer people. Uh, in Cancer people, April brings, for Cancer people, April brings changes in domestic life. And for this reason, there are strong feelings for them there, which is now just a preparation for the month of July, when the emotion will be at their highest. Leo people regenerate in April and continue to learn more and be more patient than before. This is what they learned all this year and last year, maybe. And in addition, they have active astro houses. They talk about learning and traveling. So if they wish to learn new things, to go to courses or maybe to travel for a little bit to be inspired, that will be good for Leo people. Scorpios are given the opportunity in April to develop some new communication skills. And Scorpios are usually not good at that. So it's a good time for that. Or they can also learn new skills, how to drive, some languages maybe, how to cook or things like that. Scorpios cook well, but maybe something else. Sagittarius, is, Sagittarius people have important month. April is important for them. Since Jupiter is in their sign. And from April on, Jupiter is retrograde in their sign. So it will be clear to many of them uh, between April and mid-August how to use this planet, how to use the planet of happiness and vision in their sign. So from April onwards, Sagittarius will see that everything still depends on them 
and that Jupiter will help them only if they make the first step. And that is true also for all of us, because we all have Sagittarius in some area of our horoscope. I already recommended my videos about Jupiter in Sagittarius, perhaps you would wish to see them again. So yes, uh, Sagittarius people will slow down a little bit, see that it's not just fantastic just like that, they need to do certain things. Aquarius uh, begin in April a deep introspective phase, which will be strange to many because a spring is a period when a man opens up to the world, but it is simply so. However, many Aquarius people will experience some peak moments in, in their career or will achieve not expected success in career. Pisces from March and April are thinking of that, how to make money in a new way. Many will discover in April how and why they can and should share their finances or their possessions with others. This is a little bit more stressed in April, but that's the subject for them during the whole year 2019. And that's more or less all for about this about month or about this month, about April 2019. I invite you to personal consultations in astrological psychology and spiritual astrology if you're interested because that's basically what I do. I also offer Theta Healing consultations. I'm very satisfied with Theta Healing because when I talk with my clients and then we achieve to a problem that we can't solve in an easy way, then we do Theta Healing where we dig deeper and find where the problem is, something that is stopping them from that to live happy and successful life. I also often feng shui consultancy, so you can maybe um, offer that through my website. Check my website, symbolicthinking.net, to see what is coming. And I say that my video lessons are coming, I hope, during this April. And many links about that, what I do, we will find under this video on YouTube. If you like the video, recommend it to others, like it, share it. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much in advance for that. I wish you a lot of luck this month and I wish you to be rich in any sense. I'll see you soon.